It's the um, reply by the Honourable Colin de Gusser, and you have five minutes. Thanks, Madam President. Uh, I just wanted to go back to the original intent of the motion here. I brought this motion uh, to debate here because I care very deeply about the people who work in this department. Uh, and like many of us here, I am human uh, and I regard the mental health of my fellow human as incredibly important. And what is clear is that the machinery of government changes uh, have resulted in stresses and pressures on these people that, uh, that, uh, that have created some adverse health outcomes, and that is not acceptable. That is not acceptable at all. I want to thank uh, all the members who have made a contribution on this motion, no matter what side of the, uh, um, the chamber you are on. I think it is important, obviously, that we have these debates in here and hear from all sides and all persuasions. It is not. It, uh, it was certainly my intent with this motion to make it very much a focus on the people because uh, it is the people of our uh, public service that make it work. Uh, it is not a machine. Uh, it is not a collection of parts. It is a collection of people, and uh, they need to be supported uh, and encouraged through whatever change any government implements to ensure that uh, that the change can happen and that they uh, and that their issues and concerns raised are addressed. Uh, but it is clear um, the comments of the Hon Honourable Yorn Sibma uh, regarding implementation of some of the. Uh, uh, of the changes in the, in the uh, systems within DPIRD, 25 per cent through after 16 months, um, proposals for integrations that were supposed to happen in the middle of this year now being pushed back to the end of the year. And so the timeline keeps, you know, it's getting pushed out and, uh, and pushed on, and that in turn is obviously creating stress and pressure on the people involved, as has evidenced by the survey from the CPSU as was also evidenced by um, research done by uh, Professor Teo from uh, ECU. So what we've got here is we've got this issue of, uh, of these um, changes being implemented uh, that are creating uncertainty, that are leading to adverse health effects uh, for uh, the people working in the department. Um, we've obviously called in this motion for a discussion around those, uh, those issues. I am encouraged by some of the things the Minister has said. Uh, it is disappointing that it has taken through to 2019 for a lot of these things to be recognised and brought to the fore because, as I said earlier in the debate, change, in, change engenders concerns and issues, and it is not hard uh, for those managing the change. They should be aware that the stresses and pressures that will be created by the change can create uh, adverse outcomes, and, and somebody should have been responsible for monitoring that, so it didn't take until 2019 for people to have a chance to have their say on this. The other thing, the other thing uh, that does uh, annoy me about those on the other side uh, in so many debates we have in this place is their, their lack of courage to accept responsibility for the decisions they make. Machinery of government was no one else's decision. Order. Machinery of Order. government, machinery of Order. government was a decision of the Labor Party. Order. Members. Order. Minister. Just because you yell across the chamber at each other doesn't make you sound any more articulate or intelligent. So the, minute, the member only has another minute or so. Please let him finish in silence. Thank you, Madam President. As I was saying, the government needs to own responsibility for their decision. The machinery of government is not a policy of any other party. It is a Labor Party policy that has created these issues. It needs to be owned by the government and not this continuous uh, failure to accept responsibility for their own decisions, this continuous propensity. We'll blame someone else. Uh, I mean, how do we teach our kids in society to accept responsibility for their own actions when the government of the day won't even do it themselves? Uh, it is ridiculous. Uh, I will rest my remarks there and I encourage members to support this good motion and ensure that the people of the Department of Primary Industries and Regional Development and others affected by the machinery of government changes have, uh, have uh, their case heard that, uh, that these, uh, these adverse outcomes for their health don't continue.